Hey guys, it's here, RC2, and you reviewed the Dualapine Leglick Spider-Man Homecoming Vulture. So, this is the box itself right here, and as you can see, it's recommended for the Sixer Croft, and this is set 515. Uh, so, the box right here looks pretty cool, looks similar to the original LEGO set. Uh, you have the Spider-Man logo here without the Homecoming, uh, and it, here it shows that you can combine these two builds together. So this is the top, the side, the other side, bottom, and finally the back. Uh, it shows you some of the features of the wingsuit and also uh, how it looks like when it's combined. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for the box. So this is the instruction manual right here. Um, you know, it looks pretty basic. Looks nice, uh, very easy to follow. And the final part here shows you uh, how to connect to the Iron Man mech build, but um, yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the instruction manual. So this is the Vulture minifig itself right here, and as you can see, he is holding this uh, Chitari tech. Um, yeah, not sure where it's supposed to be, but um, I believe it's in the original set, but yeah, so the helmet here, you got the invincible Iron Man helmet with the nice vulture helmet printing. You have the green eyes and you have the breathing apparatus. And if you remove this uh, helmet, you can see you got his grumpy face uh, under there. And you got the torso print, which you have uh, this kind of leather jacket here with these wraps and belts and stuff. And you got the zip in the middle. And you have this furry coat type of thing. And the back here uh, does have this attachment piece uh, so that you can attach him to the wingsuit. Uh, and this is how the back torso print looks like uh, with the furry stuff. And you got these wraps and the belt. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for the Vulture minifig. So this is the Vulture wingsuit build itself right here and um, you can attach the Vulture Nifik to the wingsuit which is uh, just like the original LEGO set. Um, this is uh, this looks accurate to the original LEGO set but um, it has a little bit less pieces because this middle part here is not as thick as the original uh, build. But Let's start with these uh, wings here. So you have uh, these Nexo Knights uh, shield, which you know m make the wings here look pretty nice. And you have this round towel piece here. Uh, and at the end here, you have four of these smaller wings, which you can kind of flap around and you know move move around and kind of make a pose or something and uh, the middle here you have these stud shooters. They don't work very well, but they still work. And you can detach them if you don't like them. Uh, and at the bottom here, you have this uh, cluster piece, uh, which is attached just like this. So, yeah, um, you have this smaller wing here as well. And the other side is obviously the same. The back, not much else going on at the back of the wings, but the middle here, you have this printed piece, uh, which in the original set, it is a uh, sticker piece. So it's definitely nice that uh, Dolapin printed them. And you have these uh, fans here, which um, they make the suit hover, and you can, you can position them like this, but the wings can extend out uh, fully. Because like I said, this middle part here is not thick enough. Uh, the original set, you have a, a 1 by 2 modified piece on top of here. So, yeah, not sure why they didn't include that, but oh well. Um, it still looks pretty accurate. And yeah, uh, if you want to uh, extend the wings fully, you have to put these fans into this position. And you can extend the wings fully. But um, aside from that, not much else going on with the wingsuit build. So, overall conclusion of this set here, so how do I think of it? 
Well, the figure quality here is pretty good. I mean, it's very accurate to the original figure, but the only things that aren't accurate in this set here are these pieces, the the stud and uh, cone piece. Um, they are supposed to be in purple. I'm not sure why they didn't just mold the piece in purple. Maybe they don't have the color in their color palette. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, for the wingsuit build itself here, um, you know, it looks pretty nice. Uh, it looks pr uh, pretty close to the original uh, build. And I also like this uh, back printed piece. Um, it's definitely better than a sticker. But um, obviously the only problem I have here is with this middle part. This is supposed to be much more thicker in the original set. And yeah, I mean, if you don't care about the accuracy of uh, this internal part, then yeah, I mean, um, I definitely recommend you getting this one. But if you want the build here to be 100% accurate to the original build, then I suggest you just getting uh, the leap inversion, which um, the figure quality won't be as nice, or you can get the MG version. I I think that's what their company is called. Uh, they also made this uh, Vulture wingsuit, um, but they just copied directly off uh, the original build. So yeah, I mean, the Lopin here has pretty good quality. So if you want good quality, then yeah, I definitely recommend you getting this one. But if you want accuracy over the quality, then you should probably get the MG version or uh, some of the other bootleg brands. So, yeah, if you want to buy the set here, I'll put a buy link to it down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So, if you love my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.